everybody and welcome back to Don't Stop Shipwrecked. Last episode didn't go all that well. We did die partway through uh, thanks to the poison debuff and not having any of the anti-venom in order to cure that poison debuff. But overall, we survived the hounds and we are still alive to tell the tale. So uh, now we're going to start looking forward towards the next thing that's probably going to kill us. And that is the upcoming hurricane season, which is going to happen, I think, around about day 21. Now, there are a few things we need to bear in mind when it comes to surviving hurricane season. Uh, the first of which is that there is a lot of rain during hurricane season. What is this? Ooh, bananas. I mean, I guess we can eat those. I wonder if you can cook bananas. And also, what does that give you? Just cooked bananas or do you get something cool from that? Ah, oh, snakes. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting that snakes drop out of trees in, in shipwreck. Jeez. Flip it egg. Let's see if we can fight this guy. Oh, let's not get attacked. So in hurricane season, there are strong winds. Oh my goodness. There are strong winds and, and also a lot of rain. And that means two things. That means that our fires will go out, like, I think almost twice as fast. And it also means that we're going to get a lot of rain coming down on us, which I think affects our sanity and also increases our wetness. So in order to kind of overcome those obstacles, there are a couple of things we need to build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making my way back to our science machine. On the way, I think we should probably try and grab a little bit of food in the form of crab meat, as we usually do. Let's get rid of this egg. Let's go ahead and eat that. That should be fine. Um, <laughs> I don't think there's any, like, any um, negatives to eating raw eggs, although I could be wrong. Thank you. Good stuff. So there are a couple of things that we can make. First of all, we can make, I think it's pronounced chimnea. We can make an item called the chimnea, which is basically uh, a fire that doesn't go out when it starts to rain. It's basically a fire that's encased within its own little building. And we're going to make one of those so that we can actually defend our fire from the, from the rain and stop it going out. And make sure we can survive the night because the night is longer during hurricane season. And then the other thing we're going to make is a couple of sandbags. Because unfortunately, we made the silly decision of building all of our stuff fairly close to the water and what that means is that when the tide comes in when it starts to rain heavily and when we get a lot of water we're not gonna board so well we're gonna get a lot of our stuff wet and if we, we, the only way that we can really combat that is by building some sandbags and kind of trying to stop the water before it gets to our stuff so uh, that's the plan we are going to need to get ourselves a shovel in order to start digging up the sand to make sandbags thankfully i don't think sand uh, sandbags are all that hard to make once we've got a shovel, but we are going to need some flint and we do need a science machine to actually go ahead and make the shovel. I would like to grab this crab if possible. There we go. That's six crab meat. That should be more than enough to get us through uh, the next day or two. We will head back. Where is our boat? Is it over here? It is. I'm going to say, I didn't think we, we, we like landed on a weird section last episode. Last episode was a weird episode. We went through so much stuff. We started off fine, and then our health went down, our sanity went down, we died, our sanity was still bad, our health was bad. Everything wasn't particularly good last episode, but hopefully this episode and future episodes until hurricane season uh, should be fairly smooth sailing, he says. Um, not so confidently, but... That's hopefully the case. So uh, I'm still going to try and focus on food. Again, uh, we don't want to make that mistake of just like completely forgetting about food in its entirety because that is one of the main things that we, of course, need to remember when playing Don't Starve. Uh, I guess I'm not taking that rock with me. Uh, I think in order to make the chimney, we need a few things. We need limestone. We need, I think, maybe sand as well as some logs. Now, limestone uh, is a weird one that we don't have yet, but uh, I, I found out, I did a bit of research between episodes, that it is, in fact, made by refining coral. And I think uh, we might have actually got the perfect amount last episode because I'm pretty sure that three coral equals one limestone, and I think we need two limestone. What is that? I don't know what that is, but at the same time, I don't know if I want to know what that is. Um, but yeah, so I think three coal gets us one limestone, and I think we need two limestone for the chimney. So I think we should be pretty much overall good to go uh, with the coal that we have. Uh, it is getting dark, but I feel like we should be fine to get back. Oh, I don't want to get wet. We should be fine uh, to get back to our little base before... Oh, we got a little bit wet. Uh, I don't know what effect wetness has on our items. Like, some items do get wet. I don't quite know what that does. I'm hoping it's not too bad of like a negative debuff. Uh, but anyway, let's pull up here. I'm not quite sure what that is, but let's get out of our boat. We should really make a new boat because that one's almost broken. Uh, and maybe even a better boat at some point. Let's head on back down towards our things. Let's set up a fire for the night. And let's look towards making that chimney because getting that thing up and running would be pretty nice. There's the flipping flipping monkeys again. What a set of guys. Uh, hopefully these guys are not too big of a deal. Someone did mention in the comment section that they've, in a recent update, they've changed the way monkeys behave somewhat. So now apparently they're not going to pick up things like backpacks and stuff like they did before to us, which if that's true is going to be pretty good. We also still kind of need to make that log suit uh, if at all possible. So let's have a look at making that real quick. Is it under survival? Uh, straw. I can't remember where it was. 
flip from these monkeys. Hopefully they're not too big of a deal. Let's, before we start looking through these taps, let's refine a plank again. And then let's use that plank to, uh, to keep the fuel going for the night. Uh, one plank should be enough to keep us going uh, through till daytime. Now, uh, the chimney should be under light. And it's right there. So we need two limestone, two sand, and some logs. So to get sand, we're going to need to get ourselves a shovel, which should be fairly easy to do. Uh, we'll go ahead and prototype one of those. And then we can go ahead and start digging up all of the sand around us. Uh, we probably should start putting some of our stuff into this chest. How full uh, is this chest right now? Is it got enough space? It does. Okay, let's put uh, the stinger away. We don't need that. Let's put... Uh, I guess we can put, like, the poop away for now. We don't really need that, I don't think. Um, I don't really want to eat the mandrake just yet. We're probably going to leave that until we get into, like, a really dire situation. Uh, because I think it does, in fact, uh, put us to sleep again like it did before. But we'll take those. Hopefully, we won't die to that spider. Jeez. Uh, let's cook up our uh, meat real quick. And was it... Was it two sand or four sand that we needed for... The, uh, the chimney here. Let's have a look again. It was two sand. Okay, so we've got the two sand. We need to get limestone, which I believe is under refined. It is. And I was right about how many it takes. So we'll go ahead and make ourselves two sets of limestone. And then, after the quick uh, freeze from the, the game saving, we can make a chimney. Nice. So I'm going to put this as f a little bit further out, I think. Like, maybe here. Um, I'm not quite sure what its range is. But it works almost in exactly the same way. Wow, that got real bright real quick. Uh, it works almost in exactly the same way that the fire does, apart from it's not affected by rain. Uh, now, like I said before, the next thing that I want to work on after we've gone ahead and gotten rid of this hunger real quick is I want to dig up some more sand. And I want to start to make some sand walls because as you can see right now, what are these guys flicking playing at? Get out of my face. Did they just take the sand somehow? Oh my goodness, what the heck? They're going to start throwing poop at me. It's going to be a flipping pain. The poop could come in useful. Oh my goodness. But as we've seen before, it's also not really that good. Uh, let's have a look. I think it's probably under structures. And we're getting some like, are there like bees, like tiny flies around the poop? I mean, I guess I'll pick it all up. Oh, we can dig up the crap hole. That's interesting. Uh, not quite sure how useful that's going to be, but that is fairly interesting, I guess. Uh, let's get close to this. They're not going to throw poop at us. That is good. Uh, let's look at structures and then hair wall, wood wall, stone wall. I'm sure there must be a sand wall or sand bag or something along the lines of sand protection over here. I know it's a thing. Sandbags. Okay, so for sandbags, we need three sand and two cloth. Is cloth under refined? I don't think I've ever made cloth. Is it that? Is it three bamboo? Ooh, that might that might explain why I've never made cloth before. Let's quickly cook up these um, coconuts here, because we need to make up some inventory space to actually go ahead and grab some of the uh, grab of some of the some of the bamboo. Uh, can we plant? Question: Can we plant? We can't. I don't think we can plant trees here, can we? Which is odd because a lot of the jungle trees do in fact grow in this area. What we're probably going to have to work towards doing. First of all, let's get a machete so that we can start making some stuff. Oh, we need more flint. Uh, let's get a machete so we can grab some of this bamboo and, and see about making that. But one thing we are going to have to work towards is, uh, is kind of digging up some stuff like this grass, like the trees, and, and bringing them back towards our base. I know we don't have to dig up trees to get them back to our base. We can just go ahead and, and plant the saplings. But we should start to work towards not having to go out as far to get so much stuff. Because once the winter comes and the days become short, we won't have this much time to go out and about and start exploring. I should really be picking up this grass. Uh, we might as well use the shovel, I guess, because it means we can replant it. They do need manure, I think, to regrow. But uh, at this rate, we've got quite a lot of this stuff because all those monkeys are just throwing it flipping everywhere. So uh, we'll grab as much of that as we can while still trying to keep quite a brisk pace. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the... Um, like, the, the rules are on touchstones. Like, I don't know if another touchstone is likely to spawn anywhere around us or anywhere on this world, or if there's only, like, one per world. Uh, I assume there is a chance we can get another one, but uh, don't quote me on that. Let's grab you real quick. Um, we need to find some flint. Is it three? We need to find three flint. Now, is there three flint on this island, or am I going to have to get back on my boat and sail somewhere else? Um, berries we will always take. I didn't really want to pick that up, but I guess there's not much... I uh, have a downside to picking it up just yet. Do we have any flint? We're coming down to the monkey zone. That's fine. Still not sure what I feel about that tree. Because although it, I don't think it's going to be like bad to us. I don't think it's going to do anything that's going to harm us in any way. Uh, I also don't want to touch it and find out if it's going to harm us in any way. Um, so instead, I kind of just want to find some flipping flint. 
This looks like it might be the biome for us in terms of flint finding. Also, I'm fairly certain you can get some by breaking rocks. So here goes nothing, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, we need to keep a hold of that. So let's... I don't want to eat the seaweed because the seaweed could come in useful at some point. Let's go ahead and I guess drop the... I don't want to drop the berry bush because that's probably going to come in useful. But at the same time, I don't really have a choice. And also, I guess we're going to drop the stones as well. Oh, I don't want to drop the stones either because there's something we need to keep. We should probably make more chests. I feel like... I feel like more chests... Uh, need to be made because right now we don't actually have that many and we could probably do with storing a couple more of our things Do I really have to move all of these one by one out of the way so I can grab the flint? Oh my goodness. I do here we go. There we go. All right one more rock <laughs> One more rock should get us. Oh my goodness. Really? Really game one more rock. Oh, we need to mm, We need to use two flint to get the next pickaxe. Now we got to use that flipping Ah, okay. Here we go. There's one more flint over there. So all we need is one flint from this rock I don't think items despawn in this, so I'm sure we should be able to come back and get those rocks at some point. That gets us three of those. Let's go ahead and make a machete. And let's start to cut down some of this bamboo and get a nice bamboo uh, like setup going. Before we do that, <laughs> let's head back over here and let's see about making another chest. So chests, were they under survival? I have no idea where, we're, where chests were under. Uh, we got straw roll. It's not under survival. It won't be under food. Science fight. Was it under structures? Structures seems like it could be the place where chests are. It is. Okay, let's make a few more plates. Someone in the comment section did warn me about bees getting a little bit more kind of agitated towards the end of this first season. So we might have to watch out for the bees. Maybe even move entirely. I don't really want to move entirely because we've got quite a lot of stuff here. But we might have to in the long run. Let's put this seaweed away. That might go off in there. But um, at the same time, we can't really be carrying it around right now. Uh, cut grass, we will put away for the time being. Um, let's also... Oh, it's getting dark again. Oh, my goodness. Let's also put away... I'm going to put away my spear for now because I don't think we're going to need it. Palm leaves, I'm also going to put away with a couple of the other things. The balloons, the poop. All this kind of stuff that we can kind of do without for the time being. Just to save a little bit of space and do a little bit of... Uh, kind of inventory organizing here. Let's put all of our tools down at this bottom side. So we've got a shovel, our machete. Uh, we've got another... Oh, we already had a machete! What? Ah, oh, what a waste of a day. What a massive waste of a day. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's getting a little dark. I would like to quickly try and, and grab some of these. What do we need? Three. Oh, we're cutting it. We're cutting it close. Come on, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. This is a bad idea. This is a real bad idea because we're not cool. It's getting very close to dark time. Let me quickly drop some fuel on there. Oh, my goodness. Get out of my face, spider. I don't have time for this. Oh, come on. Don't make me dodge these spiders all night. Just after we've put our flipping thing away. Okay, get some more fuel on the fire. Keep dodging. Keep dodging. Okay, our spear is... Oh, my goodness. Our spear is in that chest. I don't know if we necessarily need it. But I'm going to take it. And we're going to kill this fucking spider. Huh. Okay. Oh, my goodness. And, of course, more of them come when they start to find stuff out. Oh, my goodness. The good news is we did get some silk from that. Whew. Okay. We have silk. Uh, the water's probably going to start coming in on these chests pretty soon, which is not what I want. We need to watch out for that. One thing that we need to make is we need to make a structure uh, known as... Let me see if I can find it here. Um, it's not the house. Let me see if I can find the structure that I'm after. Is it in here? Sandcastle, sandbags, birdcage. I don't want a birdcage. I think it's like a palm a, a, a palm leaf hut or something like that. Let's have a look. What have we got? We've got palm leaves. I think it's a palm leaf hut. Is it under survival? Straw roll. I doubt it's under survival, but it might be. We can make some cloth here. And then I've completely forgotten what we needed the cloth for. But I know we needed it for something. Oh, that's bad. I know. I want to make... Let's have a look. Here it is. A palm leaf hut. So we need some more bamboo and we need some more rub. Thankfully, rub is fairly easy to come by. So really, all we need is a bit more bamboo. But that basically what that does is it's like the chimney for us. It basically protects us from the rain and it stops us getting the wetness debuff, stops us losing the sanity when the rain starts to fall. 
So if we could get that set up, we've got the Chimnea. All we really need to do after that is Aelot Staff, which is something that we're not doing a particularly good job of right now. Uh, let's eat some more of that, and let's eat some of our roasted coconuts here to get our health back up just a little bit. Uh, but once we've done that, I think we're somewhat set, or at least a little bit more prepared for the, the hurricane season that is going to be upon us fairly soon. Let's grab one more of these. And then I think we have enough um, cut grass to make rope already. So we should be pretty good to go ahead and do that. Uh, we should probably head over to the other island again, or maybe just stick around on this island to try and get some more of this crab meat. Oh, wow, that guy was already one, one hit off. Okay. And also, the fact that we could dig up those crab holes is actually a pretty... Oh, wow. The fact that we could dig up the crab holes is actually a pretty useful bit of information that I didn't know before. There we go. Thank you very much. Okay, let's have a look and see if we can build the tent. It was under survival, I think it was. Yeah, it's right there. So we need rope. Let's grab our grass quickly out of the chest here. Let's go ahead and refine some of that into some more rope. And then let's see about making some more of that under survival. Uh, I didn't want to make that. Oh, I didn't want to make that. I made a straw roll. That's not what I want to make. I need more rope. <laughs> That's fine. Rope. Survival. Um, use alchemy engine. Do I need to stand? Oh, there we go. Apparently, I need to stand a little bit further that way. Okay, let's put this. I'm going to put it, like, near my chimney. And the reason why I'm going to put it here is, again, I don't want it to get washed away when... Um, when the tide comes in and also I want to be able to kind of like hide out under here when the rain starts pouring and have stuff like just have this light protect us, maybe cook stuff in there, do all that kind of stuff. It should be great. All right. We need to look at getting ourselves some of those sand walls. Where were they? Were they like right at the bottom? Sandbags. Okay. Cloth. That's why we need a cloth. Okay. So we need to go out and we need to use our machete on everything. Now, let me have a look at that other island real quick. Did that other island have like a lot of, uh, let's go to the full map here. Did the other island have a lot of um, bamboo? There is a section here with a lot of bamboo. Okay, let's head on back. I mean, there's some waterlogged bamboo there. I don't know how useful that's going to be. Uh, we do have a lot of grass here. This is good. So getting ropes, not going to be too much of an issue, uh, like, in later months. Like, even we don't have to travel too far to get a lot of grass, which I like. Uh, we're probably going to have to spend the next... Ooh, I seem to be sinking. Um... We've got like 65 durability left on this thing. I think that should be enough to get us there and back. But afterwards, we really should probably look into getting a, a new form of transportation across the ocean here. But um, I think we're doing well. I think, I think overall, things are not looking too bad. We're, we're more prepared for the winter season than I was previously. Hopefully, we can survive most of it. I think the hardest part is probably going to be... Uh, food, getting food at that time, because we do have a lot of crabs around us. We've, we've used most of them, and uh, we should probably start looking towards getting some farms set up, because I think in the hurricane season, farms actually do better, because the rain uh, increases the rate at which the uh, the farms grow, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that, but uh, let's go ahead and cut down as many of these bamboos as we can, and then all the way back, we'll try and dig up as much of these, uh, as many of these sand piles as we can as well, because they're going to come in quite useful at uh, just stopping us from getting soaking wet throughout the hurricane season. The thing is that four of these equal one cloth. We need two cloth per set of sandbags. I think you get four sandbags each time you craft them. So we really need like eight of these for every four sandbags. And I would like to maybe get like eight sandbags, maybe even 12 sandbags if possible. Uh, thankfully, we've got that backup machete there. Good thing it didn't. Uh, go completely to waste. So, if possible, I'm thinking maybe we get... Um, mm, if we get, like, 12, that's enough to make two sets. If we get, like, 20 bamboo, which is a lot of bamboo. If we get, like, 20 bamboo, that's enough to make 12 of those, uh, those sandbags. So, uh, we'll see how things go. It's getting pretty dark, albeit not too dark. Would prefer it if we could chop this down before the snake gets here. We can, but the snake almost got us. Let's just run away and hopefully he'll get bored. I don't know if that's how snakes work, but I'm about to find out. Also, there is a lot of bamboo here. I like this. I think the snake may have gotten bored. Okay, we're on 10. Okay, that gets us 12, uh, 11. We'll go for one more. <clears throat> and, and then we'll start kind of walking back this way a little bit towards the sand piles. We're not going to make it back to our base uh, tonight, obviously, but what we can do is set up like a little fire right about there. 
And during the night, we can go ahead and cut up some of these. Cut up. <laughs> go ahead and dig up some of these sand piles to get as much sand as we can carry. And that should be pretty good. So it's two sand per sandbag, I think. So uh, this should be more than enough sand to make that work. But I'm not going like, to kind of stop getting it because we can always use more sand. Okay, so I made it through the night. I made it back to our base. We are on day 16. Let's quickly whip up some of these sandbags once we've gone ahead and refined some more cloth. Or as much cloth as we can. That's going to get us two sets, which for now is fine. I'm not going to bother making another set because we can't make two more sets. And therefore, we can't get any more sandbags. But let's make two lots of those. That gets us eight sandbags. And I think we're going to be best suited kind of placing these just like in front of the stuff we have so kind of like here that's not what i wanted to do i have to right click these oh i do yeah here we go so i'm gonna put like here and here and just kind of block off the path of where the water would have to come to um to wet our stuff really uh, how many do we have left it's like the last oh we got two left so two and then uh, we'll put on there as well. Uh, we'll put on like here as well. All right, cool. Uh, we might have to make a few more of those. That looks like it might do a good enough job. I don't know if the water's kind of going to seep around or what. I don't even know if the water's going to come this far. But I would like to be prepared if it does. Uh, and with that, guys, I'm going to end this episode of Don't Starve Shipwreck. As always, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button. It really does help out a lot. Leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys next time.